Very good. Okay, welcome back to the Morning Brew. Uh, Larry Aarons along with Dara Ambries from Runway Apparel. Um, real pleasure to introduce our, our next guests. Um, let me introduce Steve Pointer down at the end of the couch. First of all, uh, this was a big deal for Steve to come out here and sit on the couch. He, Steve's been on our production crew here before yep. and uh, <laughs> is now promoting uh, this wonderful film we're going to talk about called Legend of the Night. Steve, it's good to see you again. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. for coming out. You don't like being in this side I'm of the I'm way camp. more comfortable on that side <laughs> of the lens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the gentleman in the middle is Jim Stanick. Jim uh, <laughs> has taken his Paws and Stripes charity now to whole new levels. I saw him on Fox and Friends, a uh, national show. And, man, you're turning into kind of a rock star, man. Uh, no, nah, you know, I, I like to say that I'm not the rock star, nor is my wife or the program. It's the veterans and the families that we help. Those are the rock stars. That You make a great point. Uh, they, you, they, uh, they are the true heroes. So, uh, Tell me about your service again. Well, I'm a three-tour Iraq veteran. Um, was medically retired out with uh, PTSD, traumatic brain injury, and much like every other vet, a laundry list of other things that come along with it. Yeah. But through it, you got a great sense of humor and a great sense of purpose, too. Well, thank you. Yeah, if I can't laugh at myself, we got problems. So. <laughs> uh, Steve, why don't you take over and talk about this film and, and what's going on with it and what it's about? Sure. Uh, you know, everybody dreams of being a superhero, uh, especially as little kids. And, and Batman is one of those uh, um, that inspires a lot of people to you know, to move forward and deal with some of the tragedies that they deal with in life. And this documentary is really talks about how uh, people will use that persona um, maybe to move forward uh, or organizations that go out, put on the Batman costume and go and love on kids and, and you know, lift them up and encourage them in the, in the, in the hospitals and that kind of thing. And um, so when I saw this film, I, you know, I know there's so much um, negative out there that we that we see in movies and as a filmmaker myself and you know that's what I aspire to do so I just really took this to heart and wanted to to get this out in the community so we'll be having uh, on Wednesday night January 7th out at the premiere in Rio Rancho a uh, big parking lot we will uh, at 7:30 that night we will we will host this 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 movie for and of course for Paws and Stripes as our beneficiary so everybody puts in the tickets or comes out and wants to donate for the raffles that we're putting together uh, that's what that's what we're trying to do so get tickets online you got to go to the website it's the tug website uh, they'll put that up here and uh, go online and and get your tickets early we only need to sell 17 more tickets we've already sold 50 that's the 67 minimum we have to do to make wow. this actually happen. Uh, but I think we'll sell out the theater with, uh, oh, yeah, with what you guys are doing. Yeah. Um, so get on, yeah, get, get your tickets early and, and make this happen for the community. Um, we will also have, um, we'll talk about it a little bit, I think we've got some pictures, but we will, ha if the weather doesn't do what it's been doing, snowing, which is pretty likely in New Mexico. <laughs> we'll be, I don't mean to laugh. It's true, I know. <laughs> it's not gonna snow, nothing's gonna happen, but weather permitting, we will have the Albuquerque Batmobile there, which is from the original, there's five original cars that were made for the 60s there it is. series. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, I'm totally getting a picture. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the guy that's, that he's gonna bring that car out, we've got uh, a plan to have a, a, a little kid come in, uh, in that, and oh, uh, I've still gotta get a Batman <laughs> that, 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 that will come out and, and love on those kids and, and, and be that persona. Um, and then one of the really cool things is we're gonna offer a, my wife put the money up, to give a free 30 minute ride to someone that is sitting in the theater that night. So oh, just by buying your ticket and showing up with your family and your kids or whoever you wanna bring, uh, you have an opportunity to get a ride in that machine, which, uh, which will really, which will really oh, be cool. Oh yeah, it's gonna like somebody stay up. Oh, yeah, yeah it's gonna, exactly. It's so cool. <laughs> so yeah, we got a lot going on. Just to say, um, you know, I, I've watched the, the trailer for it mm -hmm. and you know, a lot of our uh, children nowadays, you know, got people are looking up to athletes and celebrities and so on and so forth. And, you know, when it really comes down to it, I mean, growing up, Batman was the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when it comes down to it, I truly believe that, you know, if you're sitting at home and you're trying to figure out what to do on January 7th, come out and let your child see something inspirational from another peer of their own age, ballpark, uh, you know, the struggles that they've been through and how they just put their chin up and said, you know what, we're going to tackle this and we're going to hit it head on. That's true. It, that's a true warrior spirit in mm -hmm. my mind. Yep. So. Mm -hmm. We have the film trailer. 
Yes. yes. Yeah, why don't we show that? Let's have a look at the uh, legend of the night. She told me immediately, you need to take Kai to the doctor. He's got leukemia. For the next six months, we were in the hospital probably five months. He would identify himself to the nurses as Batman. <laughs> so he took that strength, that courage that Batman has, and he related it to himself. And I'm just running, and the crowd just got so excited. They're just cheering, Batman, yeah, Batman. These children are fighting to get better. They're fighting for independence physically. And I think that they can see some of that in Batman. Uh, he lifted me up. I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy when I was two and a half. I, I would dream that I would wake up with superpowers one day, and when you realize that's not gonna happen, you say, well, wait a second. Batman doesn't have any powers. He does it just fine. I brought comic books into sessions, and all these young people were so gravitated towards it. It helps people who aren't comfortable with therapy become comfortable with therapy. Kai's wish was to be in a Batman movie. <laughs> no doubt in his mind that he was solving crime, that he was helping people, that he was making a difference. A person very often will get to the point and they'll say, I've exhausted my potential. I can't do any more. There's nothing more I can do. But the lesson of the Batman to me as a kid was, you know what, you haven't even begun. What would Batman do if he had cancer? He would try to stand back up and fight it like I did. Well, that doesn't touch your heart. I know. It's, a, it's you got, amazing. You all need tissues. I know. Here. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, and a, yes. a little a little side story is two months ago my brother got diagnosed with leukemia. Really. So it was a, a few times I could not watch that without yeah. a, without doing know. that. Yeah. And uh, but I found out good news uh, a couple of days ago that I am actually 100% match for him. Oh. I will be going to MD Anderson in Houston for uh, blood or. What do they call it? Stem cells? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they'll, they'll pull that out of me, recycle that. And this time I told him, I get to be Batman. <laughs> and he's so obnoxious, he said, well, you be careful, because when you're in there, I'm going to tell the nurses, take all your clothes, and you got that, that weird costume they put you in, and just give you a cape. And I said, you know what? Fine. If I can make one little kid smile, <laughs> I'm down for that. It's worth it. I guess we have a picture of you uh, as yeah, a child. Have a, yeah, back, I, yeah, I was Robin, and there, yep, there's me, Robin, and oh, my brother. My mom made those costumes, you know, uh, that, that's the way it was. <laughs> that <laughs> is fun. Um, Jim, let's talk about Paws and Stripes. Sure. For, for those who aren't familiar, what you guys do for vets. We, we provide uh, service dogs to disabled veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and or a traumatic brain injury. Um, all of our dogs come out of local rescue shelter system. Um, very proud to say we have a great partnership with uh, an alignment with Animal Humane New Mexico, um, as well as the city of Albuquerque and some other shelters across the uh, tri-state area. Well, wow, I just said like New York tri-state area. <laughs> I know, you yeah. did. See, you, can't take, you, can't you can take me out of New York, but you can't get it out of me. <laughs> um, out of the uh, New Mexico area, uh, Santa Fe, so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we, to date, we've provided mental health services to approximately 85 uh, veterans and their families, rescued um, over 70 dogs, approximately, and we've graduated approximately over 55 veteran service dog teams since June of 2010. Oh, wow, that's awesome. The list keeps growing. Um, you know, our TV show that aired this year on Dogs of War on A&E um, made a huge impact from what we can see across the country. You know, we're getting emails now from... Uh, kids whose dad served in Vietnam or regardless of the war saying, you know, hey, I didn't know how to talk to my dad or mom. And after watching three episodes, I had an idea of what they were going wow. through. So, you know, to be honest with you, it's uh, it truly is a very humbling experience. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get used to walking through Home Depot and people going, hey, you're that guy. Yeah. Um, it's a little awkward, yeah. especially when you're trying to buy two by fours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, um, the other great thing about Paws and Stripes is, is that, I don't know if you guys have heard, but we've moved into Albuquerque. Oh, you um, have? Now, you were in Rio Rancho. We yeah. were in Rio Rancho, um, and uh -huh. Rio Rancho has done us very well, but we outgrew our space. Uh, we were in 1,100 square feet approximately. Now we're in 3,500 square wow. foot um, off of uh, Central and Montclair, right in Knob Hill. Oh, okay. um, you know, we've been renovating over the two weeks thanks to Home Depot. They really kind of helped us out with that veteran program they do. 
So now we're in Albuquerque, and of course the food yeah. and everything else, and hopefully be able to affect more veterans and families mm -hmm. um, across the area. Jim, it's great to have you back. Really oh, man, is. it's so great to be back here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, January 7th, uh, Legend of the Night, uh, 7.30 p.m. showing, and uh, Steve, uh, pre-sale tickets right now, yes. and uh, hopefully sell the theater out. So. Yep. Hey, great to have you guys here. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, guys. Appreciate what a, it. What a terrific documentary and a great cause. All for you here on The Morning Brew. Dara and I will be right back after this timeout.